Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel 2000 Camry CE That's what it says on the back With how many? 197,000 miles on odometer She got right here behind this wall from the landlords She got brand new tires Look at these beauties, look at these beauties, complete rear brake inspection, cleaning and adjustment, and the other problem was this very famous T0401, we have here 5SFE, 4 cylinder engine, and I just got the new part right here, which is EGR modulator valve. Or well, let's call it EGR vacuum modulator. And this puppy basically receives the vacuum from the throttle body. It's also underneath, if you see the line below, it's connected to the EGR valve and the code is T0401. It says that EGR valve recirculation of the gases back to the intake and burning them is insufficient. And many people will just go and they will say, oh, the VSV valve, which is behind the engine, underneath, behind, very bad place difficult to get it with a hot exhaust pipe you will burn yourself to test it many people always say oh that VSV <laughs> that's, that's what the P0401 will be fixed oh yeah well, just go there and replace it you will not go wrong but they forget that first they need a good supply of the vacuum if you don't give it to the valve which is underneath it behind the engine and it starts right here with that EGR vacuum modulator that needs to produce correct vacuum. I will show you in this very short tech video how that vacuum is supposed to look like when it's good. Because the old one, which I just removed, oh, bad, bad, bad. That was not making correct vacuum for the system and I will show you how the good one supposed to look like this basically the vacuum needle was doing this at all the time high rpm low rpm it doesn't matter and it was not holding it was just flying there and bent like a maniac you can take those things apart but this one it's old it's faulty I need to set up somehow this camera using a zoom I guess or super long hose we need to see how depending on the RPM which is very easy to produce here how the vacuum is supposed to be supplied so once again two sources of vacuum nice hoses and this is supply which goes down there to this hose which is just sitting here so it doesn't fall down there and that goes to the VSV which some people will skip and immediately change and that is controlled by ECM by the computer there are two wires and it either opens and closes but if it doesn't get a good vacuum how you want to expect the good vacuum here to operate the EGR valve. That EGR valve with the weak vacuum, even if the diaphragm is good, well, it will produce very weak action. You can always try to put your finger under because you will be touching that membrane of the diaphragm, but the vacuum needs to be good. So, I guess. What am I talking about? I will not put you on the tripod 
And just please observe, I will be modulating the RPM and please observe the vacuum being produced with this complex little valve. And look at it. That I call steady needle. And that was not happening before my friend. I cannot see in the cabin, but what I was producing right now, I will say it was 2000 to 2500 RPM. And you saw how perfect and steady that vacuum supply is. I don't want to hook it all back with this junk, but that was not happening. This was flying erratically, as I said. It will stay somewhere here in this area and it will do this like a maniac kept moving. So now I know. I took care of this problem. I already erased the code on the computer. And this customer who is actually YouTube viewer he will not have that code P0401 coming back to him. I know that. All I have to do, put back this. Here, remove my tester, put it back together. I'm pretty confident he will be very happy. And if you will try to put this little vacuum hose right now back on it, well, you will fail because look how it's split open very wide. I need to first trim it. This get rid of this stretched area. I need to cut it off maybe half inch and then it will tightly sit here on that opening on the valve. So always obviously pay attention to every single detail. Come on baby, just pinch there. I don't want you to fall behind the engine. And just to give you idea how much it costs, I used the aftermarket because that was at this moment only what I could get. This valve was approximately $45 with tax. The one which is behind the engine, we call it VSV. These are more expensive. It's electronic valve and these are approximately 90 bucks. I'm pretty confident somebody will able will be able to use this little comparison info in his hair's own diagnostic procedure. On these older vehicles, this code it's extremely common. Uh, the vacuum lines they keep opening; they are kind of stretched. I already trimmed many of those. Also, the one underneath the EGR vacuum modulator that was completely stretched and uh, wide and the seal was not correct so that was in beginning you didn't see that it was a bunch of step I did, steps I did to make it that vacuum system tight so it holds the vacuum it's not leaking somewhere and it can actually keep opening and closing that EGR valve itself that you test the EGR valve, it's very simple how you test that, if it works, well, you just disconnect this, because this is the signal, the vacuum signal, which will open it, which means going up and close it. So you will let it idle, you will unhook this, and using your vacuum pump right here, you will apply vacuum and that engine needs to immediately die. When you apply the vacuum to the EGR and it's idling only, it needs to die immediately. But you know, the EGR opened, the diaphragm, that rubber membrane is working correctly, there's no hole in it, and it's moving and opening. So, yeah, I should make another video about this, but today it's already 4 p.m. He wants to come in like 30 minutes I need to finish so I just want to show you the reference video 
for that EGR vacuum modula modulator, what needs to be coming, the vacuum, the quality vacuum coming out of it. If you like it, give it a thumb up and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. I'll catch you later, alligator.